Hey everybody, how's it going? I just wanted to give you a quick update on the PPP loan forgiveness applications that are now being accepted by the SBA. Uh, it's, this update will be updated as lenders begin to open and keep, as lenders start to open, different lenders will open uh, their forgiveness at different times. Say you got Fundbox, say you got Fundera, say you had Bank of America, say you had Capital One, uh, vice versa. All these are all these uh, different banks, these different en entities are getting their forgiveness loan numbers to give to you in different in order so if if you're looking to get your loan ppp loan forgiven stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching like and subscribe we'll get right to the point appreciate it the ppp loan forgiveness applications are being accepted and once you get accepted uh forgiveness is accepted on one of them that means that you are eligible for the other if your 24 weeks has expired uh so here we are this is coming from Bench 2020. Um, after a long process awaiting the PPC rules to be finalized, SBA is now accepting forgiveness applications. Lenders have started to collect documents. This is the part where we need. We need our lenders to have the documents to give to us so that we can get the forgiveness. So that they can get paid, basically, is what they're saying. You know, once they get paid, then our forgiveness is over. Until they get paid, if they don't get paid, then you're paying it is what, they're, is what the deal is with that PPP, just to let you guys know. Lenders accepting PP loan forgives. Here's a list. This is what I'm going to tell you. This is what I said the other night, and I, I thought this was the case on our on as who, who's getting the forgiveness and who's not. The big banks, the ones that have uh, it, bailed out big companies, they're going to get their forgiveness applications first so the big companies can go in and take the big chunks out at a time other than us little scrawny companies, mom and pops, going in later and, and getting the crumbs. So here's the companies that are actually offering forgiveness uh, applications right now, accepting loan forgiveness applications. So uh, with this said, if you are in this line of lenders, then you can go ahead and uh, get your forgive. They should have your loan number. Yeah, and just to fill you all in on what the uh, loan number is, you see that PPP, SBA has a PPP loan number up here, which they have. You have that number actually right now uh, from the SBA PPP loan number. Now, from the lender who actually loaned you the money, say it was uh, Fundera or Fundbox or Bank of America or Chase, over here you got the lender PPP loan number. That's what you don't have, and that's what banks are getting right now. In order to fill out this application, which this is part of the application, you need that PPP loan number. Without that loan number, you can't fill out this forgiveness application number. So that's what we're waiting for. That's what we're getting from some banks, and uh, that's what we are talking about right now is that PPP loan number. The banks that have it, the lenders that have it is your bank, and the ones that don't. So that's just the informative part right now that this is what it's all about, is having that PPP loan number so that you can go ahead and file this application. Because without that loan number, you cannot file for forgiveness. So that's what we're waiting for, and that's what I'm describing right now, who has it and who don't. These are, uh, do not necessarily mean the endorsement by the bench. Okay, here we go. Bank of America, you have to sign in with your small business owner's uh, online banking username and password. Click on the Paycheck Protection Program Loan. Looks like they're ready. Uh, emails have been sent to BMO Harris. I'm going to go slow here in case one of these are your banks. Then you can uh, get that information that you can read that Citizens Bank. East West Bank, you have to register via the online portal. Uh, Fifth Third Bank, email Fulton Bank, email Incredible Bank, PayPal. These are all ones that are ready to give you your forgiveness application. Okay? So that's good news for you guys to have those banks. Now we're going to the lenders that are waiting for more information which uh, was biz to credit blue vine capital one celtic bank chase city bank i'm not going to read them all if you see your bank in there uh or the there's mine right there fun box but these lenders are basically waiting uh to get their application number to give to you so that you can apply for forgiveness lendio liberty mtp you see them all squares there sunrise bank truest us bank beam Let's Fargo. Okay, so there they are. Hopefully this gives you the information that we need. Your lender has up to 60 days to review your forgiveness application. Uh, you can be fully or partially approved for forgiveness or denied altogether. Once the initial review is complete, the lender will send you a decision to the SBA. Uh, the SBA has up to 90 days to evaluate your application and may contact you directly for additional information. Once they confirm the lender's decision to revise the amount that's forgiven, your lender will let you know what the final result of the decision. So if my lender isn't currently open, when will they be open? Unfortunately, unclear. That's a good question. Uh, some are still waiting on additional information that, and some are still 
testing their online forgiveness process uh, for the best user experience. We can anticipate more lenders opening up as relief talks. And those decisions around change to forgiveness, uh, you will need a documentation to prove your payroll amount. Um, what documents do I need for my application? You'll need documentation to prove your payroll amount or net income if you're self-employed. Uh, so have that ready. If you uh, have a payroll provider, you should also be able to download some payroll reports, summarize most of the information you'll need. If you're a sole proprietor, you'll need to provide a complete Schedule C for 2019. You still want to be checking your email or checking your providers and even give them a nudge. Check your websites. Say you have Fundera or Funbox or Cabbage. Check those websites and see if you know, they have anything ready for you yet. You can give them a call. You can just check the websites. There's a whole bunch of different ways you can find out the information so that you can get your PPP forgiveness application processed so you can start on getting your second PPP loan. Hopefully this helps. You guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye. Yeah, and just to fill you all in on what the uh, loan number is, you see that PPP, SBA has a PPP loan number up here, which they have. You have that number actually right now uh, from the SBA PPP loan number. Now from the lender who actually loaned you the money, say it was uh, Fundera or Fundbox or Bank of America or Chase, over here you got the lender PPP loan number. That's what you don't have. And that's what banks are getting right now. In order to fill out this application, which this is part of the application, you need that PPP loan number. Without that loan number, you can't fill out this forgiveness application number. So that's what we're waiting for. That's what we're getting from some banks. And uh, that's what we are talking about right now is that PPP loan number. The banks that have it, the lenders that have it is your bank and the ones that don't. So that's just the informative part right now that this is what it's all about is having that PPP loan number so that you can go ahead and file this application because without that loan number, you cannot file for forgiveness. So that's what we're waiting for. And that's what I'm describing right now, who has it and who don't.